Sim racing could be about to change forever. Gran Turismo 7 have just revealed this absolutely revolutionary feature. It's pretty insane. Let me explain what's going on here. So we're all used to using ghosts in sim racing. A ghost is when you load a faster car, it appears in front of you, a little bit transparent, and you basically chase down the ghost. A lot of people use my ghost when I set times in the top 10, top 15 in the world in Gran Turismo 7. And you can see here we're on board with Killing Dremont, Giorgio Mangano, two of the very best, fastest Gran Turismo 7 drivers in the world. But this is not a ghost. This is an absolutely insane, basically telemetry analysis between these two laps. I need you to imagine something, viewers. I need you to imagine that you're doing a lap time at a track and you want to analyze yourself against some of the best drivers in the world. Look at what this can do. You can see exactly where your lines are. You can see when you're braking. You can see where you're apexing, early apex, later apex. See with the red car there, had a little bit of a later apex, I think, and gets a little bit better exit speed. This is absolutely insane. Now, there is a little th secret here I want to tell you in this video about why this might... I I really hope this feature is going to come stock in Gran Turismo 7 because this is the video Gran Turismo 7 have released. And if this is going to be included in the next update, it's going to be absolutely insane. Um, it's going to be part of my coaching tutorials because I do a lot of coaching for people in Gran Turismo 7. Make sure to subscribe if you want to check out some of those videos. But look at this. You can see here the blue car of Killing Dremont just taking a slightly tighter line. But then Giorgio Mangano might be getting a little bit of a better exit, a little bit of a wobble there from, from Mangano. You can see how close they are on the exit. It's so very clear to see what track limits you should be using. Looks like, oh, much better exit there from Mangano in the red car. As we go into deep forest, it goes to the right, left, right again. Really want to open up what's going to be quite a tight right-hander here. So they're basically neck and neck. Absolutely crazy to see this using all of the track. Now, this is a very difficult corner to find the apex. Where are they getting apex? Is it going to be similar? You can see it looks to be very, very, very similar. My word. That is absolutely insane. I'm Oh, big bit, um, uh, bit of a wheel spin there from Killing Dremont getting on the power. Now, this is crazy on track limits this corner. You see how close they go to the white line, maximizing the limits. So it's like Killing gets a little bit of a better exit there. But it's still pretty much neck and neck. They're almost identical. Here, as we go to the left-hander again, look at the track limits here on the outside. Looks like Killing gets a little bit of a better exit, but he's going to run a little bit wider. Does that mean that Georgia is going to catch him going down the straight? We will see. Look, if this feature comes to GT7 in the next update, it's going to be mad. It's going to be absolutely mad. It's going to change everything. This is going to need to be in your arsenal. Other sim racing games will need to include a feature like this. But like I said, there's a little secret that I think might give something away here. As we go down to the big hairpin at Deep Forest Raceway, um, you see Georgia sort of peeking out a little bit. Killing keeps it absolutely pinned to the wall. They both decelerate at pretty much the same point. But then you can see Killian turns in a little bit earlier. Giorgio, I think, comes in a little bit later. And then it's going to be the run down to the line. Now, this is what I want you to keep an eye out. Have a look at the clock where the clock is going to stop um, above Giorgio Mangano and Killian Dremont. Because, well, I, th I just wonder if this isn't something that is, is ready to be integrated in G7. Because this is a little bit of a... A, um, what can I say? Maybe they're giving the, the mask is slipping. They're giving the game away. Because as we're going to go over the line, I see Giorgio Mangano um, finish here ahead of Killing Dremont. You can see that the clock is going to stop here at 14.446 for Giorgio Mangano and something later for Killing. But when we go to this screen, it's not the same. So have they superficially added that timing screen? Is this something that's ready to go in Gran Turismo 7 or not? Let me know in the comments if you want to see it. And if you want to see it, share this video. So GT7 will definitely add this feature because I think this would just chain sim racing forever. I'm really excited about this. I want to see more of it and I'll see you. See you next time.